Hey guys, it's Adam from BBT. In this question, we'll be looking at how to solve limits uh, in terms of an exam type question that you might see. So, let's look at the question here. It says, evaluate the limit of root 2x plus 5 minus root x plus 7 divided by x minus 2. So I took the liberty of writing some tips for you guys on the side here. Let's look at them. The first one says to use algebra. Now, one thing that I really want to stress for you guys, in every limit question that you see, or that you're going to see, or that you have seen, you have to always look at the possibility of simplifying your limit before plugging in the actual value of your limit. So, if you just plug it in right away, chances are you did something wrong. So, the first thing you should do is always use algebra. So, a trick for this is go back to your secondary 4, and think, what are some ways that I use algebra or techniques that I use in algebra? Factoring, simplifying, uh, rationalizing, things like that. So in this case, we see that there's square roots. So in this case here, we're probably going to rationalize. Usually we've learned to rationalize either the denominator or the numerator. In this case, we see that we're going to be rationalizing the numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this question, you'd have to always write the limit as x approaches whatever number it is, in this case it's 2. So for the sake of this question, I'm not always going to write it. I'll just put the little quotations to show you guys that you should write it every time. So here, I'm going to rewrite the question. So root 2x plus 5 minus root x plus 7. And all of that is being divided by x minus 2. All right. So what do we do here? Always put your limit. Because on a test, you might get it wrong. And don't forget to extend up to the entire square root. Now, how do we rationalize the numerator? Remember, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing as the radical, except we have to change the sign. So in our case here, all we'll have is the same factors. Make sure to copy these. Minus root x plus... 7, and what you'd have here is you'd have to multiply this, right, by the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Just give me a second to delete this. This is for you guys. So where were we? So you have to multiply this by the opposite sign. So 2x plus 5. Instead of minus, you have your plus. And that's what I mean by the opposite sign. x plus 7. And that's all you multiplied. And you remember, what was your denominator? It was divided by x minus 2. But are you done? No, because when you rationalize the numerator, you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the opposite. So here you have root 2x plus 5 and plus root x plus 7. So now you're in a much better position to be able to solve and simplify this question. So we've taken care of step one. All you have to do now is bring things together by multiplying out your terms using your FOIL method that you learned. So remember the limit always stays. And when you FOIL this, right, you do your FOIL, what's going to remain is essentially 2x plus 5, right? How did I get that? Root 2x plus 5 times root 2x plus 5. Remember, a square root is the same thing as to the power of 1 half. When you multiply the same bases, you add the exponent, so half plus half is 1, and therefore you're just left with the term on the inside. What else? Minus your x plus 7, for the same reason. When you multiply the root 2x plus 5 times this, you will get a positive number. When you multiply the negative 1 times that, those, can, those terms will cancel out. And therefore, your final term will be negative root x plus 7 multiplied by root x plus 7. The square roots go away, and you have a minus that's left. Is that okay? Hope everybody understands that. And in your denominator, what will you have left? The same thing you initially had. So x minus 2 that in brackets. Just make sure to keep brackets. It's always easier. And then you had your root 2x 
plus 5 plus root x plus 7. So, so far so good. Again, this is a very good question that you will see probably on final exams or on class tests. Uh, it's very common for, for professors to ask questions with uh, radicals. So let me extend the page for you guys. So from this point, what are we left to do? So if I ask myself the question, am I done, as I put here, if you look here, obviously you know that you're not done. There's still some stuff that you can simplify before plugging in your limit. So look at your numerator. Is there something I can do? Of course, you can combine like terms. So 2x minus x will just leave you with 1x. And 5 minus 7 will leave you minus 2. Hmm, interesting coincidence as to why you have x plus 2 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. Keep that in mind. And what was your denominator? The x minus 2. And again, when you do limits, you're going to have to recopy the same numbers uh, several times over, but it can get quite annoying, but you need to do it. All right, here we are. So, what happens here? Remember, now you have a product in the denominator. What does that allow you to do? You can cancel out like terms. Don't forget your little limit here. So now you're left with 1 over, and it's getting a lot neater. It's 5 plus root x plus 7. So again, let me extend for you guys. So now, let me ask you guys a question. If I would ask you, am I done here? Is there anything else I can do in this problem at this point to make it simpler? Well, no. You can't multiply this or add that. There's nothing left. So therefore, you can ask yourself, am I done? Yes, you are. As soon as you answer the question with a yes, you plug in your limit. So I'll repeat that. As soon as you say yes, I am done, you plug in your limit. So remember, your limit was as x approaches 2 of this expression. So of this one. Therefore, what will that be? 1 or square root of 2 times 2 plus 5. Let me extend this for you guys. This one was square root of 2 plus 7. And what does that leave you with? 1 over. What is this going to be? 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9. Root 9 is 3 plus root 9 is 3, 1 over 6, and you are done. So essentially, just to recap, this is essentially a question that you might see on a test, on a final exam, on an assignment, where they'll ask you to evaluate a limit, which is not at infinity, obviously by the x, e x approaching 2, of some type of radical, either in the numerator or in the denominator. The way to solve that and the way to solve any other limit is to ask yourself, what can I do in terms of algebra? In this case, rationalizing the numerator. Once I've combined all my like terms, am I done? Can I do anything else to simplify? If your answer is yes, you are done, you plug in your limit, and you get your answer. And that's basically the concept as to how to solve limits.